Hi there, welcome to Kevy Shaves. Very nice to see you, nice to be back here in the bathroom. Uh, the sun's just going down, so I'm trying to get this shave done pretty quick while there's still um, some daylight here, so I don't have to set up the lights and put the, the towel on the screen and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just gonna try and rattle through this shave. I'll probably still be another half hour shave, but if it is, it is, and it gets dark and you can't see me because of the bad lighting, that's fine. That's probably a better thing, right? Who said that? Who said that? Um, yeah, how are you doing? How's things? It's good to be back here shaving. Um, I've got some new soaps to use that were sent over from um, Hendrix Classics and Co. Um, Pete contacted me and said, uh, I've never seen you use any of our soaps. Would you like to try a couple? So he sent some over. Um, so this is the first one I'm going to use. Uh, this has just been released uh, and it's called Cowboy Up. And it's a collaboration between... Uh, Hendrix Classics and Co. and as you can see there, Rich Man Shaving. Uh, so there it is here, this is the uh, label, very nice. Yeah, um, there's the side there, Rich Man Shaving HCNC, Hendrix Classics and Co. Uh, the ingredients is on the bottom, made in Nashville, Tennessee. You can pause that there and have a look. Um, right, so here's the soap here. Very nice, actually, I like this. I like this label. It says on the bottom, uh, dusted off, saddle up. You can see there with a... Right, so this is uh, this is the soap here. I've scooped a little bit out. Yeah, very nice looking soap. It's kind of like a fudgy sort of, quite a soft. This is a, a, an homage, a homage to um, Tom Forbes, ombre leather. It's leather, that's basically what it is. If you know what Tom Forbes ombre leather smells like. This is it, it's pretty close. I have smelt it in the past. I can't afford a bottle of it, but there you go. <laughs> I've smelt it in um, one of these department stores, you know, where you get the little testers and you can spray like half a bottle on yourself. <laughs> yeah, it's like three, 300 quid a bottle, but <laughs> Yeah, but that's it, it's um, ombre leather, Tom Ford. If you know what that smells like, it's basically leather. It's leather, it's leather. I'll say it in my Scottish. It's leather. Tom Ford's ombre leather. That's what this soap smells like. Mmm, leather. <laughs> right, so that's the soap. Hendrix Classics and Co. Very nice. Cowboy up. Yeah, it's a beautiful scent. Right, so I've skipped a little bit out, um, out of the tub there. I'm going to be using this 3D printed bowl. I've used this before. I can't remember the name of the guy. It was on a, I think, Against the Grain forum. Yeah, it has like the ridges in here. The, well, it's 3D printed plastic. Quite nice. It's got a little bit for your brush there, or you can put your thumb in there. So I've scooped a little bit out the soap and I've showed you, I've rolled it into a little ball just to show you how much. So what I do is just put that in the bottom of the bowl, press it like that. Some people will be saying, yeah, we know how that works, Kevy. But some people might not. Some people might be new to this and have never seen it before. So I'm going to show you how I, how I do it. You can do it any other way. Right, we'll see if that's enough soap. If not, we can always add more. So that's just pressed into the bottom of the bowl. And just spread it around in these ridges like that. Yeah, see that just, these lines here just help create the ladder easier rather than it's a smooth bowl. You can use a smooth bowl, but uh, this one is quite nice. Yeah, scent strength, I would say it's about a six or seven. Really quite in your face. Quite leather, bang. It's cowboys, are you right? Come on, cowboys are tough. Yeah, they are. Uh, the brush, it's another Kevy Shaves DS Cosmetic. Uh, this one here. This is called the Discovery. Uh, and it was named by Jack. Jack won a competition. Um, the Discovery, the city where I come from is called the City of Discovery. It's called Dundee and uh, there's a ship here called the Discovery and it went to the Antarctic back in the 19, oh, about 1912, I think it was, Captain Scott. And uh, so that's, it is docked here in Dundee. So this is the brush, uh, the Discovery. Yeah, DS Cosmetic, nice black and white swirls with a tuxedo style knot. 24 millimeter maybe, synthetic. That's the brush. 
So um, yeah, Jack won the competition. Uh, he says, uh, discovery, that's what we should call the brush. So me and DS Cosmetics said, yeah, that's pretty good, pretty clever, Jack. Right, so he won it. Right, the razor is the Tatara Muramasa. This is uh, an adjustable razor. Yeah, now you can see the adjustment dial, uh, that little black dot in there. See if that will focus on it. Yeah, can you see it in there? So at the moment it's on three, four, five. It goes to five, four, three, two, one. Um, I'm gonna have it on four. It's a three piece razor. Let me just show you how it comes apart. Right, so you unscrew this bottom handle bit. Comes apart like that. This bit comes off like that. And there is there. Yeah, this is uh, made in Portugal, Tatara. This is the Muramasa. They have about three or four different razors now. Uh, but I was one of the guys that tested the prototype of this razor. And I told them at the time, I think that little, the dial where you can see the number, I think that's too small. I think it needs to be bigger. But they said, no, no, look, it's in the aesthetics with the dot. The size of the dot is the size. And I was like, mm, I don't know. It is very small and it's quite hard to see. So, but they've kept it like that. So good on them. Good on them for sticking to the guns and not listening to the <laughs> To the people who tested it. Yeah, it's too small. I can't see this like. But um, yeah, it's fine. You can see it. I don't know if that's what it's not gonna focus right. Let's let's try and see how the Yeah, look there, there we go. So you can see it there. And if I just twist it, it goes to three, it goes to two, it goes to one. Anyway, the light's fading, go on with it, Kerry. Right, okay, so that's the the, the razor, Muramasa from Tatara. New blades. Again, new blades from Europe, and these are Tatara double-edged blades. Made in Europe, as you can see on the back there. Yeah, they sent me a pack of these. They actually sent an accompanying letter, which I will let you read right now. So that was a very nice letter, kind of tells you all about the blades. So uh, let's open these and see if we could get one out. There we go. Yeah, so five blades in this pack, nicely packaged. It says Tatara on the back. On the front, it says Tatara Swedish stainless steel. It has the Tatara logo there, the Samurai Warrior. Let's open it up and see what the blade looks like. I think Ken Surf's um, used one of these blades. They're double wrapped in wax paper, which some shavers say, which means they look after the blade, which means they care about the blade. Does that mean the ones that aren't double wrapped or they don't care about the blades or like feather blades and that, they don't really care, just or I don't know. Yeah, so there, there's the blade there. And again, it's a, uh, it's branded. Can you see that there? Is that going to focus? Come on, focus. I'm, I'm losing the light here. There we go. Tatara. Platinum coated blade. And it says it on the other side as well. So there it is there. Right, I'm going to put this in the Muramasa. Muramasa. Let's put it on like that. Put this back on like that. Put the handle back on like that. Right, let's uh, let's crank this all the way up to number uh, five. Will you be able to see that? Yeah, it says five in that little dot there. Can you see it just there? Right, let's go with that. Right, let's wet the brush. Let's. Uh, lather up this Hendrix Classic and Co Cowboy Up Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Yeah, I've never, I've always um, seen these soaps getting used, but I've never 
Um, I've never tried them, so this is my first time trying this. Um, I think they're going to be stocked in the UK uh, from is it shaving station? Can't remember if he said it's shaving station or yeah, I think it was. I think it is shaving station. If it's not shaving station, I'll put it up on the screen right now. Who it is? If it is shaving station, I'll not put it up on the screen. Easy to create the lather in this bowl with the ridges on the the plastic. Yeah, nice. A little bit more water there, quite a good bit there. So I'm just working the brush around. Yeah, nice uh, shine on it, I can see. Do you prefer bowl lathering or do you prefer face lathering? A lot of people prefer face lathering, bowl lathering. Uh, I don't mind. I kind of just do it both ways, but i just seen this bowl and I thought I've not used it for a long time. So yeah, look at that. Beautiful shine on that. Sense strength again, probably about a seven or eight. Look how much lather that's created from that little ball of uh, soap. Easily enough for three passes, even on this big, 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 big coupon. Coupon. Yeah, I've told you that before. That's a Scottish word for head or face. Look at the coupon on that. Right, just uh, wet in the face here. Right, let's go with this. Yeah, nice, strong, pungent scent from this. Soap, cowboy up. Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Yeah, I've got some, um, I've got some new soaps from Yaki as well to test out. Well, not to test out, to try, to, sh to show you guys, to give you my thoughts on them. And um, a few of them are, are um, dupes of uh, like colognes and stuff. This is a lovely lather. Yeah, although I've created it in the bowl, I'm still applying it on the face nicely like this and working it into the bristles. But lovely lather, really nice. Yeah, and the scent strength on the soap is still, still really strong. Great, great scent for the uh, cooler and colder months. It's just straight up strong leather. So if leather's your thing, this is the soap for you. Right gents? If leather's your thing, right gents? You know? If uh, leather's your, uh, if leather's your thing, right gents? <laughs> is there any first timers watching thinking who the hell is this guy what's he talking about if leather's your thing right you know right let's go <laughs> let's go with the, the Muramasa with the Tatara blade on setting 5 the adjustable from uh, Tatara. Let's see if this feels any nicer than the uh, the Yaki razor from the last time. It's a hundred times smoother. And that blade feels lovely. Very, very smooth. Someone left a comment saying that um, on the last video, you remember when I changed out the blade from the Nasset, I was just gonna say there's no overhang on this. I changed out the blade from the, the Nasset to the Feather. And uh, I said, that feels much nicer with the Feather blade. And someone left a comment saying, uh, I don't like Feather blades, they cut up my, my uh, neck. 
like it, just like it did yours. And I said, when I first used feathers, I, I really liked them. It, uh, it was a blade I enjoyed. And then I had a couple of rough shaves with them, so I fell out of love with them. I was like, ah, feather blades, ah, nah. They're too rough and uh, this and that and I didn't like them and then I tried them again and they were really good and I, I was enjoying using them and I was like oh feather blades are superb they were giving me great shaves and then I, I fell out of love with them again and I was just saying I, I've got a real love-hate relationship with uh, feather blades <laughs> and just now um, I don't like them again I think I think I mentioned that in one of these tag videos, like what's the, the love-hate relationship thing you've got with a shaving product and I think I said a feather blade. I either love them for a few months and then I hate them again. Um, I can really smell the leather on this soap. And then I fall in love with them again, I use them and I, you know, it's kind of like that with blades. This is a lovely blade actually, this uh, Tatara blade. Very, very smooth in this razor anyway. This is a smooth shaving razor. Yeah, not aggressive, even on setting five, the highest setting, I would say it's maybe about, on the success, maybe about a plate between four and five on that plate. So not really aggressive, but um, wow. The slickness on that soap is superb. Right, let me rinse, I'll come back for the second pass. More chat. Okay, nicely rinsed off. Yeah, it's getting dark here. <laughs> right back to this, look at that, that is beautiful. Yeah, do you ever do that with um, with these expensive colognes and stuff? Like you go into one of these um, big stores, like um, the department stores, well, like, I don't know, Macy's and stuff like that. They used to have them over here, like um, John Lewis over here or Debenhams. Well, Debenhams is no more now, but closed down. But um, like John Lewis or House of Fraser got like, and they have these big, sometimes boots, boots don't usually carry stuff like that, but I sort of, bigger um, stores do and they have all the um, high-end stuff, all the Creed stuff and you know these counters with all the <laughs> and the assistant will say ah, you want to try this? I'll spray it on this little strip of paper you like, nah, nah, it's okay and then as soon as they disappear you pick the bottle up and you're <laughs> just go, <laughs> go mad right, let me turn this down to a setting let's go a three I don't know if you could see that Setting three. There we go. Can you see it in that little that little dot there? Setting three. Right. Close to both. Yeah, you do that, and uh, <laughs> the assistant comes over. Can I help you? Uh, no, I'm just uh, I'm just taking half this ball. Spray it on everything. <laughs> Because it's expensive and you can't, you know, yeah, two, two squirts behind the ears and you're like, whoosh, clothes, everything, jeans, shoes, oh, shh. <laughs> this feels very mild now, setting three. It's still cutting through, I can still hear it. Yeah, so I don't know who's producing these blades for Tatara. And um, remember I used the Mai blades. They were uh, European blades as well. Uh, but I don't know where they're being made or who's making them or... They're very smooth, very, very smooth.
I maybe should have tried it in the uh, the Yaki Razor, one of these blades, but I don't know if that would have uh, helped. Oh yeah, I'm going across the growth. Right, second pass, that was quick, wasn't it? Right, yeah, that is lovely, lovely slickness. And I can, I can still smell the leather. <laughs> right, the leather. Okay. <laughs> right, I'll rinse this off and I'll see you in a minute. Right, rinsed off. Right, let's put this down to setting. Uh, let's just go down to two. Mm. Mm. Setting two. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Anyway, right. So look, there's still uh, plenty of lather left in this bowl from that little ball of soap I started off with. Get back on that brush, you. Yeah, so my next um, few shaves will probably be, probably be, probably be using uh, the Henrix Classics and Co. or Yaki Soap. I've got a few to, to get through, but, um, but that's okay, because they're all good soaps. The Yaki Soaps are made by Master Soap Creations in South Africa, which is um, a great soap maker too. Lovely brush this. You'll find the synthetics are nowadays. The, most of the synthetic knots are soft, easy to lather stuff. They feel great on the face. It's just which handle you prefer getting. Yeah, very nice. They're easy to, to work with. Very comfortable to, to use. Right, Muramasa with the Tatara blade on setting two against the growth. You can still hear that there, good feedback from it. This probably would feel about setting two on the 6S, I would say. Yeah, still good uh, feedback on it. So if you like a mild, a milder shave, you might want to try this on the uh, lower settings. Yeah, very nice. Great glide on the soap. You know, the artisans have uh, really upped their game with the soaps and stuff as well. The, the last sort of five, five, ten years. The, uh, the artisan soap makers are superb with the, um, the stuff they're coming up with. Must be hard to come up with uh, new scents or unusual scents. Well, I suppose like this, um, Tom Ford, they don't make a, a shaving soap, so not that I know of anyway. So it's nice to use a soap with uh, that scent on it. Fortunately, I couldn't get the splash. They can't um, send the splash over because obviously the alcohol content in the splash. You can't ship it overseas from Nashville to Scotland. So um, yeah, because there's alcohol in it and you know, Scottish people with alcohol, it's not a good uh, match or not a good mix. I mean, I've seen, I've seen guys drinking like bottles of Old Spice and stuff like that. In, in the street, just like, you know, they can't get their hands on like a bottle of sherry, 
So they just old spice. Ah, drink alcohol, drink it's cold. And, ah, I'll fucking kill you, you bastard. Stuff like that, you know. So it's just, yeah, the alcohol. <laughs> oh my god, he's on one of his uh, tangents. Right, three passes done. Let me have a little. Wow. I'll tell you what. There's one tiny bit there, and just there, but nothing really much for the old uh, Picapios. <laughs> Could you imagine you went out and you actually seen someone drinking a bottle of Old Spice? Oh, man, that's a vintage one from the 70s. Give me here. I'll use that in my shave then. Right, I'm going to turn this back up to setting uh, five for the pickups. All the way back up to five. Um, yeah, just to get rid of these little straggler hairs. Tatara make great razors, don't they? I think they do this in a. I think they do this in titanium now. This is a stainless steel version, but I think they make a a, a titanium a titanium version of this. It's not cheap by any means. As is this. This one isn't cheap either. Um, quite an expensive razor, but wow, what a performing razor it is compared to that last Yaki Monarch. Which wasn't the best, but... That's a lovely blade. Lovely blade. Really nice. Right. Cold water rinse and I'll have a face wash. So I'll scoop the rest of this soap out of the bowl here. Into the brush. Most about. Into the brush, scoop it out of the brush, and uh, yeah, look. You remember, people used to do this. Look at that. Remember, wet shavers used to do that back in the day. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, look. Yeah, look. See, it's not even great. Right, okay. Ombre leather or cowboys up. Cowboy up, sorry. Cowboy up. Wow, really strong. Strong scent. Weather! That's me applying the leather to my... Mr. Kevy, that's the leather going on. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think she's asleep. <laughs> right, face wash time. Mmm. Beautiful. Yeah, I went out of the room to get something, out of the bathroom there, and I came back in and the smell <laughs> was like leather, it was beautiful. Really, really nice. Yeah, great shave. Right, on to the post shave. A uh, little bit of witch hazel. Just, I always use this, just to start the um, post shave process. Yeah, this, this has a, a tiny little bit of scent, but it disappears after a few seconds you put it on. Good stuff. Um, and because I can get the splash, um, obviously because of the alcohol content and stuff like that, uh, I'm going to use the old favourite English leather. Doesn't it smell? It smells a bit more sophisticated than a cowboy. Mm, of course it does, because it's English. Yes, English leather. So we'll have a little splash of that. Yeah, this is a, a little bit more kind of a, a smoky, sort of leathery scent. Nice tingle, good amount of uh, alcohol content in that. Old favourite, old vintage. Yeah, it's quite a, it's leather, you can tell it's leather. It's a nice leather scent, but it's more, a little bit more smoky and sweet than the uh, Cowboy Up, which is just a dark leather, but very good. And um, I was going to use a balm, I was going to use some of this, but I'm not going to, I don't feel my skin needs it. I'll maybe put some on later on, but 
honestly, the, 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 the stuff in that soap, the butters and stuff, skin feels great, really good. Really, really good, really enjoyed that. Right, let me show you what I've used. The razor was the Tatara Muramasa adjustable uh, razor from Portugal. Yeah, great razor. And it's, ex it's expensive, but it's an adjustable. Um, it's not the high set number five, it's not really aggressive, um, but great razor, very smooth. Very, very smooth razor, good balance, and the design on it, is, I like it. It's very nice. Yeah, really well made. Uh, I'll put links to everything, you can have a look. Inside that razor was a brand new blade from Tatara. So a Tatara blade and a Tatara razor made in Europe. And that was superb in that razor. Absolutely lovely, really comfortable, no drama, as you can see. Yeah, really smooth, easy to use. Just a lovely feeling blade and razor. Uh, the brush was the DS Cosmetic Kevy Shaves. Uh, this is the Discovery, named by, by uh, Jack Gillespie, who won the competition a few years back. Good brush. I'll see it. I think this is still available as well, so if you want to pick one up, you can. That was the brush. Star of the Shave, without a doubt. Uh, Cowboy Up from Hendrix Classics & Co. First time I've used one of these soaps and, um, yeah, really impressed. Really impre impressed with the scent, the performance. Um, even the packaging looks great. Yeah, the other ones I have, uh, again, the packaging is great. But this is, I think this this might be their uh, latest release. Uh, yeah, it smells just like Tom Ford ombre leather. Actually, when I smell it in the tub and then I, when I smell it lathered, it's, it's even stronger lathered. But if, if that's what your thing is, if you're looking for a dupe, uh, this is it of ombre leather. Yeah, very, very good. Very, very good. Three passes, pickups. We used the Muramasa on setting, what was it, four, then setting three, or was it two? Four, I can't remember. My pickups were setting five. <laughs> and there it is, that's the result. Um, post shave was a little bit of splash of witch hazel and finished it off with English leather aftershave from. Uh, It says MEM, MEM Company, North Vale, New Jersey. So I don't know this, I thought it was a, I thought it was Dan or something that made this. Maybe this is an earlier or later version, I don't know. It has this um, kind of wooden top, but that kind of comes off, look there's a, but a nice, a nice splash. <laughs> right, <laughs> right, that's all for me for today. Yeah, start of the shave, definitely a beautiful label, look at that. Don't know who that is, if that's maybe uh, Rich from Rich Man Shaving with his cowboy hat on, I don't know. <laughs> Hope you're doing well Rich, hope things are good. And uh, thank you very much Pete for sending that over and the rest I'll try them out. Uh, I'll show them on video, I'll do the, the yucky ones and stuff, yeah, all good stuff. Uh, a lot of good things coming in uh, upcoming videos, so that's it. If that's your thing, perfect. Right, I shall see you in the next video. Until then, take care.